Welcome to the tea time. Y'all ready? Welcome to the tea time. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the tea time. Who listen? Welcome to the tea time. All right. Welcome to the tea time. Hey. Welcome to the tea time. 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 All right, y'all, so good evening, good evening, good evening. It is I, Jarek, a.k.a. Jarius D., your favorite published author's favorite published author, and your host of A Little Tea Time. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. Um, it is Wednesday. Happy hump day to everybody who's tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please like, comment, and share tonight's show if you are tuning in tonight. And we're going to just dive in. I got to send a shout out to Bigelow Perfect Peach. I have a new box of their tea that I've started on. And I um, just want to shout them out tonight. So thank Bigelow Perfect Peach for the tea blend that is going to be going down in the cup tonight while we are doing tonight's show. Right? Um... Given that we are counting down the final days of Pride Month, I want to just continue to send my love and my care to all the BG, the LGBTQ viewers who tune in and watch LLT Time, to all of the supporters around the world who have yet to see the show. Thank you guys so much as well. And to all of my viewers who tune in day in, day out every week. Thank you to everyone who watches these shows. And I want to encourage you guys to remember to love yourself, right? Um, and something that I've learned, something that I've learned, and it's just a message to all of my viewers. Men, men will treat you the way that you treat you. Women will treat, will, no, men would, yeah, men will treat you the way that you treat you. Women will deal with you the way that you deal with your mother. So be very mindful of that. Um, and just be careful about who we're dating, y'all, because it's some assholes out here. So just be very mindful of that. Okay? All right. Um, on to today's word of the day. Today's word of the day is dark. Dark. Is a noun from the English early 15th century, and it means simply a day at work or a day's work. So as y'all are turning into a little tea time tonight, this is the definition of a dog for me. This is a day's work doing this show. So I just incorporated that into my English language. Speaking vocabulary, I want to encourage you to also inc incorporate dog into your English language speaking vocabulary, right? Song of the week is going to continue to be going to the queen herself, Miss Beyonce Giselle Noel Carter, with her new single, Break My Soul. Um, the song is now up to 11 Hundred, um, no, eleven million views. I apologize. Email eleven million views right now on YouTube. I'm such a fan of the song because this song is definitely a song for the summer. It is a inspirational, motivational message. And thank you, Miss Carter, for the message. Right, love it. I'm feeling it. I'm looking forward to what this album is going to bring. And you just continue to do your thing, sis. Got your back on a little tea time. Right. Um, now, on to SaucySonyaspices.com. I definitely want to encourage you guys to get over to the website. Use my coupon code, a little tea time, one word, and receive 5% off of your purchases. Or use their coupon code, July 
fun when you shop and receive 15% off of your purchases. And be sure to check out Chef Saucy's Fire Ass Cook book available right now on their website. So y'all get over to SaucySongySpices.com. Um, on to music. Shout outs to Stoner Hill's own Willie Loke and Dizzy D with their single, Man Cry, available right now. If y'all have not yet heard the music, I definitely want to encourage you guys to check out the music um, and get into the vibe. Just get into the vibe. Also, Sweet Nay with her new single, Thick Thigh, also doing great right now. I know that she also has some things coming up that I would have to confirm with her, but definitely keep um, keep staying tuned to things here with a little tea time. And I keep y'all posted on things with Sweet Nay. Right? Also, Miss Shana D Music, who is gearing up for a show that she's going to be doing, I want to say for the 4th of July this weekend. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. And hey, Shana D Music, sis, keep doing what you're doing. Baby girl, you're holding it down. Right? Um, Ego Tripping and Official Patience with Above Ground is also doing some great numbers right now with this single. Um, they are also doing some great things with this music. I'm, I'm definitely also looking forward to getting Official Patience booked for a little tea time. So Official Patience and Ego Tripping, if y'all have yet to hear from me, y'all will be hearing from me. We will be getting things set for you guys to do a little tea time, right? Um, also, Mr. Ego Tripping is definitely working on some things. Um, his single Ricochet has a um, is also doing some great numbers right now. He's also set to premiere a new single, Never Promise Tomorrow, which is set to drop July the 1st. And just got word today that Fake Friends is another one of his singles set to drop July the 8th. So if y'all are following Ego Tripping on YouTube, on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook, he's definitely working on some things. So y'all stay tuned for that music with him also. Um, definitely would love you guys to stay tuned for things going on with Marche 318. She's also doing some great things with the single Better Days. Doing great numbers right now on Spotify. As well as Miss Nisa Murray with her single Love Me Not. Also doing some great numbers. Um, also continues to send shout outs to Miss Mimsy MC for everything that she's doing right now with her album the marsh also doing some great things so y'all stay tuned for that and um i'm gonna start looking into other local artists around the city that i can promote on the show if you are a local artist your music is great it's doing positive um i definitely would love to um promote the music here if your music is a song that is not about shooting and killing people definitely get in contact with me here um i definitely love to celebrate inspirational music music that has great messages that are not about shooting and killing each other um definitely just want to encourage people just let's talk about positivity that celebrate positive messages friendly messages in our music y'all because what we put in is what we put out so let's be very mindful of that so i'm not going to celebrate all music on my show because i'm not all about negativity i'm about positivity and us making and creating a difference all right, so y'all keep that in mind. Um, now that I have spoken on music, let's move on to Handbasket Zine, the LGBTQ Writers Handbasket Zine. Um, they are doing a submission call right now for issue number 13, There Is No Place Like Home. Describe your hometown or your state. What are your memories from there? Send your 400 to 700 word essays to handbasketzine at gmail.com by July the 16th. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and work on a piece for this, Mac, um, this issue because I just got a message from Taylor asking me about doing a piece for this particular issue. So... Um, I think I'm going to try and create something. I, I'm going to try my best. I will definitely give it my best try. So, other writers, I definitely want to extend the invite to you guys. 
um, get those works submitted ASAP, right? Um, also, stay tuned to the Ratchet City Blues documentary with Cherie Gray of the Lumpy Grits Artistry. Um, I know that she's also right now on a break right now from filming, but when things do pick back up with filming, she's going to definitely be running quick, fast, and in a hurry to get that final product out to you guys. So y'all stay tuned and continue to be patient and sending your love support for all that we're doing with the Ratchet City Blues documentary. Right. On to the events. Shout out on Wildman School presents Hot Girl Summer first Sunday comedy and brunch July the third. The show starts at two p.m. and will be hosted by Miss Veronica Run Brown at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. If you have not yet gotten your tickets, you can definitely go over to the Wildman Schools page on Facebook or on Instagram. Hit those links. Get your tickets. Um, July the second. That is this Saturday, and I think I got to put these back in order, but it's okay. Um, July the second, Bears Fest is going to be having their um event from one p.m. until four a.m. Um, I am definitely going to try my best to come out and be a part of this event to show some love and support to the people who I call friends who are all doing. Some things at this particular event. So definitely would love to encourage you guys to get out there and check them out. Um, Saturday, July the 9th at 10 p.m., the Shreveport Writers Club. We will be having our um, Writers Club meeting. So I definitely um, am excited to get back out to come and chat and catch up with the gang over with the Shreveport Writers Club. So I look forward to that. Um soul of the city series featuring jay brown and band will be at 315 lake street this week i'm um, definitely would love to encourage you guys to get over there to that event as well support what they're doing at the soul of the city series so y'all get out there and check that out um and finally i have to send a shout out to miss hannah of create it hannah temporary tattoos she's booking appointments for this week thursday and friday from 11 a.m to 6 p.m and this saturday and next saturday she'll be at the shreveport farmers market from 7 30 a.m until 12 30. hit her up and book your appointments now i mean if you are familiar with created hannah tattoos she did some artwork that I sported for a little while, and she's going to be doing my next piece. So I'm definitely going to encourage you guys to get out there, support what Hannah is doing with her awesome gel tattoos. Um, they're G-E-L tattoos, not J-A-I-L tattoos, All right? So y'all stay tuned for that. And... um. Definitely would love to encourage you guys to just get out there, support the farmer's market this weekend. If you do receive SNAP benefits, a.k.a. food stamps, they are matching customers with $20 as you shop at the farmer's market this summer through August. So do not, do not, please, ma'am and sir, miss the farmer's market, right? Um, on to my Facebook follower birthdays. There were no Facebook followers on my page that celebrated birthdays today but if you are out there and you are on facebook and today is your birthday happy birthday to you 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 and you and now that i have spilled my tea i am ready to introduce and interview tonight's guest um i had the opportunity to meet this magnificent chef at Miss Karen LeBeau's 51 Shades of Intimacy event a couple of weeks ago. He did a fantastic job with the food. And tonight, I have the opportunity to chat more with him about what it is that he does and who he is in the city of Shreveport, Louisiana. So I think he's out there. I think I'm trying to contact him before we get into it. Hmm. 
And I don't think he's out there for tonight's show. Okay, I see you. I see you. Here we go. Here we go. And thank you to my viewers for tuning in. Thank you to everyone who's tuning in tonight. Appreciate y'all so much. Good evening. Hey there. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Welcome to a little tea time, finally. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Grateful to have you in. Um, just introducing the people to you, letting them know about your delicious food that we had at Miss Cameron LeBeau's event, The 51 Shades of Intimacy. Thank you. Thank you. Man, food bloom socks on. Thank you, man. Definitely did a fantastic job, bro. Um, I was excited when I had to put out like whoever's the chef, he doing my show. <laughs> well, thank you. So, got the shelf here. Thanks, Karen. Great job. She did a fantastic job. She did. It was a it was a dope show, man. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Um, we was just I was just interviewing Toy this week. Not this week, a few weeks back, and we talked about the event also. And she also talked about your food. Oh, I, I enjoyed y'all so much, and your beautiful queen, Miss yes. Kristen, who yes. also was a part of the event, did a fantastic job with her poetry. Yes, sir. It was a fantastic night, very fantastic night. But again. Um, I just wanted to expand on more about your brand and about who you are and how you relate to the city of Shreveport. Okay. So with this, that being said, we're going to dive in. Mr. Nelson, tell my viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Chef Melvin Nelson, born and raised Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, graduated from Huntington High School. <laughs> Go Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went to school, went to culinary school in Austin, Texas, fell in love with Texas, fell in love with Austin to be specific. Uh, stayed down there for about six years and came back home and started my career here and my business here. And it's been, it's been a journey to say it like this. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So when you are not cooking, what do you do for fun? Um, I love music, so I'm always listening to music. I'm always listening to some type of podcast dealing with music or, um, I, crazy enough, I like true crime podcasts too, so that, those are kind of cool. Uh, anime, I'm a big anime, uh, actually not just anime, I'm a big, like, TV person, so I'm off, I kind of like a little bit of everything, drama, anime, comedy, whatever, old school TV got a hold on me right now. I'm watching a lot of old Steve Harvey show and the Parkers and stuff like that right now. Okay, for the culture. Yeah, Love. you know, a little comfort TV, you know? You know, it feel good to go home sometime. Feel good to go yeah, home. Yeah. So, what inspired you to develop your idea to be a chef? Um, so, I started cooking. I've been cooking since I was like eight or nine. Um, I lived with my grandmother for a while and she initially taught me how to cook breakfast. That was a big thing. We got up every Saturday. We had a breakfast. And so at, as I got older, she was like, okay, let me show you how to do it. So I started cooking eggs, started being responsible for the toast. Next thing you know, I was cooking everything. And then uh, my mom's the cake lady. Like, my mom makes the best 7 of cake. And um, she taught me how to make my first 7 of cake. <laughs> and my stepdad actually put me in my first cooking class and um he tried my first seven of cake and gave me that okay so i knew i was on the right path That's funny right. enough i used to tell people i actually wanted to be a pastry chef for a long time and that's why i admire a lot of uh, pastry chefs and bakers because that was something that i wanted to do um got to culinary school and realized i didn't have that patience but i admire them <laughs> And I commend them because that is that is uh, that's some patience and some is, talent. Is I can also um, speak on this. Um, 
culinary arts was going to be my major when I started college. I took the culinary arts program at the Career Center here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I had a passion for food. And um, I wanted to pursue that full time. That was going to be my, my degree. I want my degree in culinary arts. Now, I might just go back and do it. I can still do it. Hey, it ain't too late. But never too late. But um, when I started college, uh, life took me in a different direction. And I got my, my associate's degree in psychology. Okay. But that never deterred me from cooking. So to be in a room with other people who do what I like to do, I was like, yeah, he, he yep. owns something. <laughs> it was that um it was it was it was uh, several dishes that you made that night that just killed the game. You might be talking about my boudin dip. I uh I know a lot of <laughs> a lot of people have been on my boudin dip. Uh I've actually had there several events lately because of that one event. <laughs> yeah. Um my birthday's coming up in a few weeks. <laughs> I got you, man. Let me know. Let me know. No, I'm dead. That man. was actually inspired by my wife. I have to give her that credit. Uh, she had an event coming up that she was that she actually was supposed to cook for, and she was like, "We can cook for it." <laughs> so I was like, "All right, cool." And um, I kind of just got in the kitchen and started playing around, doing some different things. I didn't want to just put nothing out there that I normally do. And so I was like, hey, this is some party food. It's easy. Everybody, we in the South, we in Louisiana, everybody like boudin for the most part. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was a real no-brainer. Once once I got it and I mastered the recipe, then it, it became a hit. Yeah. Um, if you can do a vegan version of that. Ooh. So I do dabble in vegan food. So I'm have to you you might I might have to try to figure that out. I had uh, one of my friends had me had challenged me about trying to figure out some vegan sausage. So I might have to figure that out and uh, see yeah. how I can work that out. A, a vegan boot and do it for you. Yeah, it's in two weeks. You you got plenty of time. Just take so your are, time. are you vegan? Yes, I am. Practicing. Okay, okay. Practicing. I, okay. I, I, I've, been touring, I've been touring with it. It's been a little hard on the brother when you like the chick. I know I can say I can I can't go full vegan. I I've done it. I can do it, but going just full on vegan that ain't the lifestyle that I want to live. Um, I commend people that do it. Uh, <laughs> I commend people that do it all the time. But I do. I am I'm, I'm flexible. Like we eat we eat a lot of vegetables. We we try our best to go the healthy route. Don't get me wrong. You gonna see us indulge because I mean it's life, but you know, mm -hmm. healthy eating is the better. I'm I'm not one hundred percent against being vegan. Uh but when you do that rice, that boudin dip, put your foot in it. Just okay. It's only for me. You don't I got you. you. I got you. That's gonna be my birthday meal for me. So I'm gonna definitely inbox you about that. Definitely. Um, and I'll start working on that. Trying to figure that out for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I'm just letting people know ahead of time, I won't be sharing. This, this is mine. <laughs> so don't ask. Mom, if you watching. You going to eat the whole pan by yourself, man? I ain't too. It's my birthday. Why not? Hey, hey, turn up. So, yep, yeah, I'm definitely going to plan on doing that by myself. Give me a bottle, sit in, sit in the house and watch a little telly. Watch a little television, yeah. Just a snack away. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is, how did you decide when to establish your brand? So I would say when to establish my brand, it's probably around the same time me and my wife got together. We uh we started going by Lady and the Chef. I um I had already done some plate sales and some things, uh but I and I but I was really focusing on my nine to five and really wasn't focusing on myself. Mm -hmm. And so when we started, me and my wife got together and she started calling us Lady and the Chef. And then when it caught on, and other people was like, "Hey, they go Lady and the Chef," but like, they go the Chef. I was like. Okay, so now it's time to, you know, <laughs> let's start doing, you know, 
pushing this a little bit harder. It's it's time to step up. <laughs> yes, yes, I like that lady in the show. I like that. Yeah, that it case. caught on, and it, like I think it surprised us more than anything in the way that it caught on. We just we just throw it out there, and like okay, it's very it's very for the for now, and only y'all can wear that title. Very true. Cool. I dig that. I dig that. Um, the next question is, how have your priorities changed since you started your business? Uh, like I mentioned before, I was very heavy on corporate jobs and making somebody else's dream work. And I realized I had to start investing into myself. And so I, I, cha I changed my mindset. I even changed jobs <laughs> to give me more time to put into my own and do my own thing. And, um, just doing that alone, switched on my priorities on how I do, how I move, how I spend, how I think <laughs> as a small business owner. That's great shit. And I can definitely contest to that too, that when you start your own business, it's not as easy as what people think. It's not. It, I mean, I know a lot of people, we was, you know, we was harping a little bit about, you know, we got them steamies, gonna get the LLC, but it, it, it's, once you get that, there's work behind it. Everybody's not built for that. I, I mean, at the end of the day, we're either consumers or we're producers. And you can be both, but you also are either or at the end of the day. So right. we are not built for that. Right. And I like being a consumer, but I love being a producer. I do. I do. I love being a consumer, but I agree. Like so I love being a producer. I love producing things. I'm an artist at heart. Yeah. Art is at heart. Music and food are my passions. I've been, like I've been singing longer as long as I can talk. So <laughs> music and food are my passion. So being a producer, I've always produced things. So you sing too? Uh, you know, a little something. I'm a little I'm probably a little rusty. I ain't I saw I used to sing a lot in church more than I do now. But uh I let lady have that the, the singing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nothing wrong with that. I'm I'm a singer. That's what that's my first love. So very much. You say that music is definitely my first love. Say um cooking came second and then writing came third. And, and you know what? I can say I follow on the same timeline. Um I was talking to somebody the other day and I was telling them that had I not went to culinary school, I definitely would have went to performing arts school. It it was like between those two, there was no like, oh, I don't know which one I want to do. It was between those two. Yeah, yeah. And I, encouraging from my mother, I went to culinary school, and I, I'm, I'm glad I did. But I definitely would have went to performing arts school, like, hands uh, down. I'm a Yazzie alum from the Miss Gloria Gibson. I was in Yazzie from elementary school all the way through high school. That part. Great people in Yazzie, so yes, theater, music, all of that—that's in my blood. Oh man, good shit. So you're well-rounded, very well-rounded. Try, try to be. I, I dig that. I know we have been all uh, been running in some of the same circles. We've been in some of the same rooms. Mm -hmm. I know y'all were at the um the um the art teaming events yeah. that that were going on while y'all were painting um, martini glasses. We all kind of linked up there. And um, y'all really do have a, a passion for what's going on in the city. Y'all tend to stay very, very close to the streets. And y'all are very in tune to what's going on around town. Yeah, I've realized um, at Artish that um, I guess I'm a low key collector of local artists. <laughs> Um, I have several set. I have a well, yeah. I have several sets from different local artists, and I got a couple of local artists that I'm eyeing that I want to get in my collection. And so I've noticed that I, yeah, I, I love, especially local. I'm, I'm, I'm all about supporting our own, supporting local brands, supporting black brands, support. Like I love it. I love it. I mean, cause we we can't make it without each other. Yeah, that's something that became it became part of my focus here when doing this show um i wanted to be able to promote brands for people who don't necessarily have a platform mm -hmm. 
or if you are looking to promote, I definitely will um, wanted to be able to do that here because we don't see us lifting us up in a positive way mm -hmm. and so with this so show it became very important to me it became important to me it became pretty much my my, my god-given mission mm -hmm. my purpose to promote brands to promote artists to promote just what's going on in our city because we don't see it we see the negativity so I wanted to counteract the negativity with something positive here with a little tea time. Yes, yes, I love it. Yeah, man, it, it's it's bigger than me. This is bigger than me. Shout out to Ben Whalen. Shout out to oh Sexy yeah, what up, Ben? Tuning in right now. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey Ben, I got to get you booked on the show, man. That candle smells delish. Look, Ben, look, I, I burn a candle in my office like daily, and I just got a new Ben candle, and I'm already ready for a new one because I, I texted him the other day. I said, that's one of the best smelling candles I've had. That candle is great, man. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Yes. Yeah, and he don't pay I'm me to say this. this. He don't pay that me to say five. this. Yes. That vibe is the truth. I enjoyed that shit. Like, I'm not gonna burn it as much because I wanna let that. I'm already go. about to get another. I I gotta get another one soon because yeah. Yeah. I bought the candle. I wanna say last Saturday. I bought it last Saturday, uh -huh. and so I burned it Sunday for a couple of hours on Sunday just to let it take over the house. After that, I put that thing. I said, "No, we gonna hang on." <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's good to just let that burn out one time. So I'm definitely interested in Ben doing the show also because he's also a great name that we yeah. have been hearing about, that I have been hearing about. I've been using his face products. Now I got his candle in the crib. He's also I, another great artist. Look, during the summertime, I live like for his bug repellent because I tell I tell you all the time, I'm like a full bu uh full horse buffet for mosquitoes. As soon as I walk outside, I get I get ate up. So I keep some beans, some mosquito repellent in my pocket. <laughs> okay, I might need to look into that 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 bug repellent also. It's good stuff, and it's natural. Like you can't beat it. It ain't no off. It ain't got you smelling all weird like off do. It's good stuff. Like that. Dig that. Dig that. We for the product placement. Um, good the stuff. next question: What challenges did you overcome on your journey? I think personally, it was more of getting out of my getting my getting out of my own way. Uh, even now, I still struggle with doing that. Um, I'm my I'm my biggest doubter sometimes because mm -hmm. of fear and doubt and just like what ifs and all of that. So I have to tell often tell myself and others tell me get out of my way, get out of my head, and just do it. Uh, you got you got the support, you got the talent, <laughs> you have the skills, just do it. And so that's like personally, that's one of my biggest, my biggest obstacles. I would definitely tell you this. Fear, and I just said this to another guest. Fear is false evidence of being real. That shit is an illusion. The only person who can stand in your way is you. And after experiencing your food for like two days, because I, I got a plate after the event was over. I got the VIP plate. Yep, <laughs> and I added some of the the boudin, um dip to the actual VIP plate, and it upgraded the whole plate. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you you ain't got nothing to worry about. That's a you you are going to be safe and secure in this market for a while. Continue to put in the work. Thank Continue you, brother. Continue to the work because I'm I'm hitting you up. I'm just letting you know. Thank you, brother. It's you and two other people I'm hitting up to just do me some dishes for my birthday. That's okay, it. then. Y'all three are on my list. And I'm so, an exclusive because those other two people don't even know. So when is your birthday? My birthday is on July the 13th. My birthday is on a Wednesday. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to hit y'all up because that weekend of my birthday is when I'm going to be trying to just... Have my little stuff. 
had your setup ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I may possibly do a show that day. Okay. So just putting that out there. Um, you'll be hearing from him because he's we got time. But I'm definitely excited about what you're doing. And you definitely have a, a voice in this city. Y'all have been putting it down. People love what you are doing. Thank you. They do. They do. The next question is, what strategies did you use first to market your business? Uh, so my first was my first marketing strategy was straight grassroots. It was taking flyers to businesses. Hey, I'm doing lunch lunch place on this day. People want to sign up so I can get a prehead count. Um, I my original plate sale in Shreveport, I still remember when one me and one of my friends were just talking about it. I was doing a private dinner and he was helping me out and he was like, Boy, you just came from this plate sale to this private dinner. I said, Yeah. Cause it took maybe five or six of my friends and families coming together. I was at my mom's house doing it out of her kitchen, and um, we 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 pushed out about 150 plates that day. And I mean, they were delivering them for me. I was cook, doing the cooking, and uh, we had a pretty good system. So, um, grassroots was where I started. Like I said, flyers, word of mouth, friends and family, businesses. And it's grown from there. Okay, how long has it been since you started what you're doing? I'm not into that in the question, but I want to. Oh, uh, just... so I technically started. If you want to be real? I really started in like 2012. I graduated from uh, culinary school in 2012. I already had clients in Austin that I was doing private chef events for, and I was doing meal prep and family meal prep for. And so when I moved back to Shreveport, I kind of paused for a minute, found the job, and then I started doing little private gigs again, just uh, going in people's uh, houses, cooking for them, cooking for events, doing things like that. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, I guess 2012, right out of – well, even through culinary school, I worked and did little things. So I, I <laughs> officially I started, yeah, 2012. Okay. So ten years in, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. We got a comment down here in the comment section. This Millie Hamilton easily make Daniel says awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So you definitely doing something right because they in the comment session talking. <laughs> um, the next question is how do you define success? I define success as financial freedom. Um, I don't need the spotlight. I just want to be like financially comfortable. Want to be able to travel with my wife and my family whenever. Uh, I want to be able to just have that freedom in that being able to live, do what I love to do, um, help people. That's what success looks like for me. Simple, sweet, and easy. Love that. Don't get no realer than that. And the final question, what's the best advice you can give someone thinking about starting a business or pursuing their dreams? I'll tell them, get your business straight first, your paperwork, all that stuff. But like you said before, don't let fear stop you. You have a skill, you have a talent. Sometimes we look at certain things, certain uh, fields and certain areas and we be like, oh, it's super saturated. Oh, ain't nobody going to want what I got. But there are enough people, there are enough clientele that everybody has different tastes. So everybody's looking for something different. Everybody want to try something different. So there's room for all of us. There's no, no need to compete. So don't be scared. Don't think that you... You, you have a clientele, you have a vision, you have a reach. Do it. Reach those people and stay true to who you are. I ain't got to say nothing else. That's all of it. With that being said, we are going to dive into candy or corn. I am okay. going to ask you about these candies. If you'd eat these candies, you can say candy. If you would not eat these candies, you can say corn. Okay. Okay. All right. First candy up, Gobstopper. Candy all day. 
I used to All keep right. a box of golf stops by my bed in college. Yes. <laughs> All day. That's one of my candies right there. Yeah, I'm the first person to say that. Hey, they was a dot. Was it like 50 cent at Walmart at one point where you get to get the little box? Uh huh. That was my little snacks. They was legit. Yeah, absolutely legit. The next candy up is 100 grand. I'll do candy on those. Right. They and do. The next one is candy corn. It's candy. I am one of those people that eat candy corn. Even though it be people that hate, be hating on candy corn, I love it. You don't like it? Do you eat candy corn or you don't eat it? Burn man, it. I tell you, man. You y'all giving candy it. corn a hard yeah, hey, y'all giving candy corn a hard time for no reason. Okay. No comments. <laughs> <laughs> no comments at all. I do not want to get my show banned. The next candy, the next candy up is Rolo. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a corn on them. I ain't gotta have no Rolo. Got it. The next one is Heath Bar. I can do corn on that too. I ain't gotta have that. Mike and Ike's candy all day. Right. Mounds corn. All right, the last few candies, Skittles, candy, Twix, candy, and the final candy is gummy bears. Candy all day, yeah. Do more good ones. Yeah, you got to get into them all bangs. <laughs> Look, them's a good. My coworker got me on those, and I love. She keeps a bag of them in our office, and I go uh, swipe some every time when I need some. Those are good ones. Yeah, that's also going to be with the food. Okay. Yeah. That's that's my that's like my go to. Oh yeah. Those those make me very happy. Um, with that being said, that is candy or corn. Thank you for playing. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Now, mama, look at you coming in here all late. You done missed the show. <laughs> you always popping in late. But, again, that food that's coming, I do not plan on sharing. You better give your mama a little bit, Doc. Just a little bit. I'm about to take her something right now. She don't even know what she got coming. I'm going to take oh, her okay, something. Okay, okay, okay. Well, she good. I, I take care you of You ain't gonna have your mama trying to find me and get me. No, she'll find you. That's why I say you ain't about to have her looking for me. You better share oh. with her. I, I'll give her. I'll take her a plate. There we go. There we go. As, um, they supposed to be. They should be playing in something right now. Y'all got two weeks. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't even be watching. Y'all should be planning my birthday for me right now. I sound a little selfish. But with that being said. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with wanting somebody playing your butt party for you. They should. It's 35. So I need y'all to get the work. Look, I just I just stepped in the 30 club. Oh. Yeah, well. Just got in there. Just got in there oh. in February. Yeah, shit hit different when you hit that 30. Look. Your body trained. I your thought y'all was playing. I thought y'all was playing games, man. I feel I found out the hard way. No, your body starts turning on you when you hit them thirties. Yeah. Them bones hit different. Sleep. I just started having back issues. I ain't never had no back issues, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep sleep hit so fucking different when you hit them thirties. <laughs> I'm still young though. I'm still good. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Just hang tight. <laughs> Gotta do a little extra stretching now, you know? Yeah! yeah. Just hang tight, because it's going to get harder. <laughs> I'm around right here pain right now. Hip-hop zumba, wear my ass out. <laughs> Shit. But with that being said, I know that you also are a working man. Um, If you have any events coming up right now, 
Definitely want to for you to plug those and let people know how they can follow you and how they can get into some of your delicious cuisines. Uh, I don't have any public events right now, but uh, if you want to follow me, I'm always throwing up nice little tidbits of what I'm eating or what we eating or where we at uh, on Chef Mel Chef Services on Facebook and Chef Melly67 on Instagram. Um, yeah, I used to get fussed at all the time about my pictures on Instagram and Facebook and about how hungry people get, so don't get mad. You get on there and you see something you like. You can hit me up. Um, I do meal prep, private dinners. I also have a concept where I do private dinners in a box. I can literally box up, cook your private dinner, box it up, and drop it off at your doorstep, and it'll be ready for you to do your do, whatever you whatever that might be, private event. Yeah. Um yeah. hotel drop offs, however you want to do it. I've done <laughs> picnic in the park. However you want. However oh, you want, I've been able to I can devil. supply the food for your for your event. Shout out to the rendezvous for the rendezvous dinners. You Check know that all out. That's the tea right there. I ain't mad at them. That's the tea. <laughs> hmm. I wonder who those clients be. Uh-uh, nah, that's just strictly private. I don't put nobody business out there like that. That's, nah, you I'm let me be. know, I'ma just drop it off and keep going. I ain't got, I don't even know nothing. As long as that check clear, I don't give a damn what you do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Melvin, for coming through thank tonight, you. Chef Mel. Um, again, I enjoyed your food, so I, I definitely had to have you here on the show. Thank and um, I'm looking forward to that next dish that you create for me, personally. And I, I, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to start looking at that when we get off of here. Try to get it together for you. Yeah, because I, I, I'm willing to pay for my food. I pay for food. And if yes, food is, with your food is quality, so I, I pay for my food. You better ask. Thank you. Thank you. And I tend to splurge when it's my birthday time. So. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, but again, it's been a great one to have you in tonight. Thank Shout you. out to the missus and your fam. And um, I would love to have Crystal and do a little tea time. She, she um, uh, I'm going to hit you up because she needs to get on here too. She got some stuff she got to talk about. Yeah, she's coming a up. Great, great writer. She's also a member of the Shreveport Regents Art Council. She is. And, uh, she she and also a member of the Tipsy the band also. Okay. Yeah, she doing some good stuff. She doing some good stuff over here too. I can't we got some we sitting on some stuff. So, you know, when we announce it and make it look good. I can't wait for y'all to hear about it. Yes. Well definitely keep me posted here on a little tea time. Um yes, sir. I will be sharing events if y'all have events coming up that y'all would love to have promoted. Definitely keep me posted here and I will share here on my show. Um, and I just, I'm such a fan of what y'all are doing right now. Thank that you. I'm just honored to be able to just share this platform with y'all. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you for allowing me to come on here. Yes, sir. And you definitely have a home here at a little tea time. Anytime y'all are willing to come through, let me know. If you need to come through, give me a shout and we'll get you set. And um, until then, bro. All right, then, you. man. Appreciate you. No problem. I, you gonna hear from me before the week out. I got you, man. <laughs> don't be letting you know. Just, just be on. Don't be paused. <laughs> don't be yes, alone. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm calling about my food. Got you. All right, take it easy, boss. Y'all be great. All right, bro. Mm, a great show tonight with a great guest. Had a great time. Sitting in here chatting with Mr. Melvin Nelson, a.k.a. Shell Mel. Um, definitely had a great time kicking it with him tonight. And again, y'all, he is definitely doing some great things with these, this food. And I want to continue to encourage people to even support what he's doing because I definitely am going to be getting some stuff created in my image for my birthday. And um, yeah, just get into it. Symbolist pie. Now, with that being said, I got to wrap up the show. 
Uh, everyone get over to SaucySonyaSpices.com and use my coupon code a little tea time one word and receive five percent off of your purchases or receive 15 percent off when you use their coupon code july fun and definitely get over there and check out chef saucy spy as cookbook um you definitely can't still have time to use their coupon code july fun by the end of july the fourth so definitely get out there and check them out also 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 you guys get over to Agora Borelis and check out my books, The Jarius Dion Brand. Uh, it is definitely doing some great things right now with my series, The Coming Full Circle series, my books of poetry, The Confessions of a Conceited Drama King, and Catching Up With Me are all available right now at 421 Lake Street at Agora Borelis. You can also check out my books at Amazon, just type search Jarius, J R A Y I S, Dion, D E Y O N D, and you will have an opportunity to check out my new book of poetry along with my other books. The new book of poetry is entitled Quarantine Quest. So if y'all have not yet gotten into it, you definitely can get into it. Thank you to every person who is out there in the universe that supports the book brand. To everyone who watches a little tea time here on Facebook via Instagram. Also, you can check out the shows on YouTube at Jared, a king among me and Thomas, or catch it on Spotify at a little tea time when you type search a little tea time. Also, check me out on TikTok at the Jarius Dion on TikTok. And remember, like I always say for the show's quote, opportunities knocking. You matter. Let's build and go higher Shreveport. And with that being said, as I say after every single show, remember to be great on purpose and not by accident. The future is now. I am your host, Jarek, a.k.a. Jarius D., your favorite published author's favorite published author. And until the next episode of A Little Tea Time, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And stay well and stay blessed and stay cool. Out of 5,000, y'all take care, be cool, and be well. Welcome to the Y'all ready? Hi, Mom. I love you. Good night.